Once you guys, in this video we're going to be taking a look at how to transfer your data from your old phone to your new phone. Let's first get a message from our sponsor. This video has been brought to you by GVG Mall. If you're looking for a Microsoft Windows 10 Pro license, then check out GVG Mall. You can click on the buy now, use my promo code capital B09 and apply this to your purchase and get your discounted license key. More details can be found in the video description. So what we're going to do here is take a look at the phone that we're going to be copying data from. This is a Xiaomi phone and uh, it's an Android phone and uh, we're going to be using a piece of software on the Google Play Store and it's called Samsung Smart Switch and this is going to allow us to copy all data from our old phone to our new phone. Now we are using a Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus for our new phone but the original phone that we have got is a Xiaomi uh, phone here. But we can still copy data from this phone to our new phone so you can see here uh, samsung smart switch mobile you just need to download and install this and there's 100 million downloads for this software it really is awesome and it works really well at copying all your content from one phone to another and it's free to use as well so we're just going to quickly uh, let that download and you can see here we have the open button here which we can click on and it's ready to go so let's get all the contents out of the box of our new phone. So let me just get this out of the box here. So we've got all the contents out of the box and I've now uh, booted up our new phone and gone through the setup process. And now what we need to do is connect to our Wi-Fi on our new phone. Now the SIM card is still in the old phone. So we're going to open up the Samsung smart switch on the old phone and connect to the wireless uh, connection you can see they're wireless so that's phone to phone then open up the Samsung Galaxy phone here and open up the smart switch on there it comes pre-installed on their software uh, as a part of their software and we're going to connect to the wireless on there it will also notify you on your old phone to let it connect through and then it will say connecting to the old device on your Samsung Galaxy phone there just copy what I'm doing on the screen here and you should get confirmation Mi Max 2 is now connected as you can see here all the display is now starting to come up on the old phone screen here now of course yours may be a different phone but it will connect in the same way and you can see here it wants us to uh, copy across uh, some basic information here contacts messages call logs and apps and uh, you can untick and tick whatever you want to copy across okay so depending on what you want to copy across, you can then select. And you can see here we have music, videos, documents, all that sort of good stuff. But the good thing is you can see here the external storage is unticked. And if you don't want to copy that across because it would take a long time, you just take out the storage and plug that into uh, your new phone. So you should be okay there. So just copy across whatever you want here and select everything, okay? Uh, and you should be pretty much good to go from there. You can see bookmarks is unticked there. You've got some settings on here which you can mess with and you can also select uh, certain apps that you want to uh, come across and some of the apps that you don't want to come across. I'm just going to copy all of them across. But again, you don't need to copy all the apps. You can just select what apps you want, but I'm just going to copy all of them. So you can see here we've got send here. Once you've got everything set how you want to, you can just click on the send button and this will then send a message across to prepare to send it to your new phone. And once you do that, it, your new phone uh, should get a screen come up. So let me just open up the new phone here. And uh, once that opens up, you will get the Mi Max 2 is asking for content to be sent to you. And uh, you can now accept it'll wait for connection and uh, it will start to send that across so you can see it's now transferring all the data across and again you can select exactly what you want to copy across you can either copy the whole phone across or certain apps across or some music across you can select what you want okay now this does give you a sort of average time of how long it takes and you can see it says 60 percent has come across here and I'll show you what it looks like when you get near the end you can see here now it's starting to save all the information that's been sent across and it's starting to install it for us. 
Now this is probably the most easiest way of transferring data from your old phone to your new phone and it's probably the most safest way because there's a lot of programs out there on the market which aren't that great and uh, some of them do contain a lot of ads and malware inside. But you can see it's copied 13.34 gigabytes across to the new phone and uh, you can see here now we can just close all this screen off and it will tell you what you've copied across. I can close the app and there we have all our content uh, on our new phone uh, copied across from one account to the other which is pretty decent and it's really easy to do and that way it saves you having to put wires there's no wires involved here it's all done wirelessly and I found it a lot more easier to do it that way all you need to do now is take out your sim and your storage card from your old phone and plug it into your new phone and you're good to go anyway that's pretty much it for this one I hope you enjoyed it I hope this one helps you out my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk bye for now. now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.